spanning about 600 feet on the Mulberry Street Bridge are these murals on them, former and present leaders and community members in Harrisburg. People can see where we've been and where we're going as a city. Dwayne Shearer, executive director of Danzante Urban Arts, says since 2005, these murals have been a gateway between South Allison Hill and the city of Harrisburg. Even News 8 has a small presence on one of the murals alongside former city mayor Stephen Reed. And this is a way that we can show something beautiful in the community. But those murals hide the ugly truth that lies underneath. The bridge is in major need of repair. PennDOT has listed it as structurally deficient. Even pieces of the bridge are falling off below. PennDOT has put up nets to catch the debris until they rehabilitate it in March 2014. That's also when the artwork will need to go. For us to say, well, we need, we should just let it go, it's, it's, it's not something that we as a community organization, community-based arts organization would want to allow happen. PennDOT has agreed to cut out the thick slabs of metal on its tab, but the remaining costs to place the murals elsewhere in the city fall on Danzante. It could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Duane says they will auction off one side of the mural to the public to raise funds and save the other side and will also seek donations. Art is something where it will improve um, the way people feel about their city, and that's something we need right now. He calls the murals the anchoring point of a mural movement in Harrisburg, a city that is trying to move. In Harrisburg, Chris Hush, News 8.